Hi, my name is Emma and I'm a volunteer museum educator here at Wheatland. Uh, today we're going to be talking about Harriet Lane. I'm sure many of you are familiar with Harriet Lane. She is James Buchanan's niece and was our first lady. But did you know that there was another that had the exact same name as Harriet Lane? Why don't we set sail and come find out who it is? So perhaps we can't really set sail to find out, but I hope my uh, Century by the Frog Pond here at Wheatland has given you a bit of a hint of what we're going to be talking about today. Harriet Lane had a cutter or a speedy sailing vessel named after her. The Harriet Lane was originally built for the Treasury Department by William H. Webb. It was a copper-plated steamer that could make speeds of up to 11 knots. Her battery consisted of three 32-pounders and four 24-pound howitzers. She served as a revenue cutter until being transferred to the Navy in late 1858. The Navy first launched the Harriet Lane to show the visiting Turkish Admiral the harbor and fortifications at North Carolina. The Harriet Lane, the First Lady, would get a few chances to ride the vessel named after her. Harriet would take both official and pleasure cruises in the Harriet Lane, and by June of 1859, she had taken her second pleasure cruise, this time to West Point. However, the press caught wind of her cruise and began criticizing her for her frivolity. The bad press was so bad that James Buchanan wrote her a letter scolding her for her behavior and even said that he would issue orders to the Treasury and National Departments to put a stop to all pleasure cruises. But there was another official cruise that occurred. In 1860, during the Prince of Wales' royal visit, the Harriet Lane set sail with the Prince of Wales, President Buchanan, First Lady Harriet Lane, and others, in tow for Mount Vernon to visit the tomb of George Washington. This painting shows the party at Mount Vernon. The Harriet Lane would do more than escort people to destinations. The Union would use her during the Civil War, and she saw action in Fort Sumter, New Orleans, as well as Galveston, Texas. However, in 1863, she would be captured by the Confederates, but the Union would recapture her before the end of the Civil War. While we can't set sail on the Harriet Lane, uh, you can still visit her here at Wheatland. If you find yourself in the library here, you can catch a glimpse of her on the walls.